Hey everyone. <laughs> I definitely missed you guys and it's been a hot minute since I've opened any TCG. So I'm super excited for today's video because we have the latest master set, Ultimate Advent. Before we crack open this bad boy, I want to announce that I will be doing another giveaway for you guys. You guys have been so awesome. I'm now nearly at 500 subscribers. <sighs> like honestly. <laughs> so the winner of this giveaway will receive a juicy sealed booster box of Saiyan Showdown. So all you have to do to enter into this giveaway is subscribe to my YouTube channel, leave a like on this video and also comment in the comment section below. All right, enough chit chat people, let's crack open into some ultimate advent. As usual, there's a nice little complimentary pre-release pack. So I'll quickly open that first. There's only two cards in here. Okay, here's our first little taste of ultimate advent. We have, ooh, golden freezer, unexpected combat. Very nice. And we have few schema behind everything. Damn straight. <laughs> chase cards pretty much anything with gohan on it <laughs> i have only seen the sprs and the scrs and that was when they were first revealed a while ago so i kind of don't fully remember every spr and scr that's in this set i just remember that there's a few really nice ss2 gohan cards and i really really want them all right let's see what the box top bar is is that an S? Probably an SR box topper. It is. Okay. Awesome. Golden Cooler, Golden Fighting Spirit. That's actually a really nice SR. And if we've learned anything from history, guys, I actually prefer SR box toppers because I've only managed to pull SCRs from boxes that had SR box toppers. The few times I have had SPR box toppers, all I've gotten is the extra SPR. So yeah, from now on, I definitely prefer SR box toppers because of that. All right, here we go. Oh, let's just take a quick moment to appreciate these pack arts, people. Oh my goodness. That is so fire. I'm actually tempted to get another box and just have it in an acrylic case just on display, just because the box art is and the pack art is so beautiful. So, okay. First pack going in, come on baby. All right, so I will go a little bit slower in the beginning just because this is a new set and I wanna take in all of the beauty. So, oh, okay. Hellfighter 17, Chile, oh, SS Blue Vegito. Oh, oh wow, that is sick. I love that so much. That's an awesome card. Okay. SS Vegeta. Oh, Vegeta again. Hello. Uh, practicing fusion. <laughs> and Vegeta's like, no, I don't want to fuse with you. <laughs> uh, freezer. Oh, rest and wait. Oh my goodness. I love that moment so much. And it's so true. Like, Definitely resting. Oh, we got our first SR. <laughs> and, it's, and it's Zamasu, the homeboy. Oh my goodness. That's actually pretty nice though. Unified ultimate god. Damn. Okay. That's very nice. Gotta sleeve that up. But yeah, I really love the this moment. And it's so true. Like, rest is just as important as being productive. So definitely make sure you rest enough, guys. So, the God Rare that's in this set, it is so beautiful, but I think everyone, including me, shares the same opinion, which is we really need to change up who the character is for the God Rare. <laughs> we, is that, oh, SR, again, Vegito, Ultimate Unrivaled Fusion. That's actually pretty sick. It is definitely time to shake things up a bit and just... Give someone else the spotlight for the God Rare, honestly. Between Fusion World and Masters, all we've had is Goku and Goku's fusions. So, yeah. Um, definitely, ooh, 
Okay, speaking of Goku, that's actually a really nice SR. We are honestly so overdue for a Gohan God rare. Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> or even a Broly. Or if they did the villains like Cell, I think a Cell God rare or maybe they can even call it like a villain rare and the little um, code at the bottom can be VLR, so like villain rare. I think something like that would be so cool that they're just so fixated on Goku and his fusions like Vegito and Gogeta. So it's like, I don't know, but yeah, it would be really, really nice if they actually <laughs> shared the love a bit amongst the characters. And don't get me wrong, if I manage to pull one, I ain't complaining. <laughs> I would not complain about pulling a God Rare no matter who it is, but yeah, I just, yeah, I think everyone is the same. We're all just wanting someone else to have the spotlight for once. So hopefully the next God Rare will actually be, oh, double for double. <laughs> SR Golden Cooler, the same one as the Box Topper. Pretty cool, no worries. But yeah, um, won't complain if I pull it, but yeah, it's definitely time for a change. Definitely. In saying that though, it seems like <laughs> Bandai have a reputation of actually not taking on <laughs> customer feedback <laughs> and just really just being like, this is how it is and you just have to deal with it. <laughs> so yeah, for example, um, I was talking to someone yesterday actually, and yeah, he was saying that with their video games as well, like, for example, Dark Souls and Elden Ring. They're modern games, but for some reason Bandai Namco are fixated on keeping them fixed at 60 frames per second, whereas most modern games are 144. And when people have brought that to their attention, they just refuse to address it. I don't know what the specs are for Sparking Zero, if that's also 60 frames per second or if it's 144, I don't know. It is super smooth though, so it could be or maybe it's still 60 because I think 60 is still pretty smooth anyway. But yeah, it's just funny that, um, <laughs> yeah, they're just a bit stubborn like that. Actually with Sparking Zero. <laughs> I'm sure you guys have been playing it and please let me know in the comments how you're finding it. It has been really fun, but like a lot of people, I am stuck on the great ape battle um, between Vegeta as a great ape and Goku. But, you know, I'm not an avid gamer, so I knew I would probably struggle a bit. Oh, wow. Okay. SS Blue Gogeta Battle for Peace. That is actually a really beautiful SR. I love the colors in this. So yeah, I knew I was going to struggle a bit, but when I saw that a lot of people were actually complaining about that battle being too difficult, I thought, oh, okay, it's not just me. But then <laughs> Bandai's response was either lower the difficulty and retry where you have that option to do that or just get better at gaming. <laughs> and I just thought, wow. Cold hard facts right there. <laughs> and that's just such a typical Japanese mindset as well, where it's you either set out and achieve what you're meant to achieve or you fail. There's no, there's no other option. You just have to do it. You have to put in the work and just get better, you know? So yeah, even though their response might've seemed harsh to some people, honestly, I really respect it. And I actually agree because it's so true. Like. If you just put in the work, no matter how difficult and frustrating it might be, you will eventually achieve what you set out to. You, it might take months, it might take years, but if you just persist and you just put in the work, you can do anything. Honestly, you can do anything. But when you achieve your goal or you overcome that challenge, whatever it might be, the victory is so much sweeter because it was all you, you know, like you put in the work, you didn't have any handouts, you didn't have any help. It was all you and all of the hard work that you put in. And it's just feels a lot more satisfying that way. And you can just be really, really proud of yourself. 
So yeah, I think it's a great mindset actually to help build mental resilience as well, where you can just start thinking to yourself, wow, if I overcame that and that was like so difficult, then I can achieve anything, you know, like I think that kind of mindset is really beneficial and really important for everyone to try and aim for. Oh, snap. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow. SPR. SS Blue Sun Goku and SS Blue Vegeta Height of Power. Oh, damn. Look at that texture. That is new. Oh, my goodness. That's really pretty. But at the same time, where's the gold foiling? <laughs> I am surprised there's like no gold foiling for an SPR. Hmm. Oh, well, it's still a beautiful card, so hey, I'll take it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, Sun Gohan preparing for the Cell Games. SS4, Sun Goku. Great Saiyan 2. Vegeta. Sun Goku. Oh, Super 17. Sun Goku. Freezer. Oh, Cell. Writhing Terror. That's a sick card. SS2 Kappa. And behind it, Broly Clashing Saiyan. All right, we're starting our first pack on the right hand side now. So we've already pulled one SPR. Okay. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of Sparking Zero and how you've been finding it. If you're finding it kind of difficult or if you're, um, you know, breezing through it because you're a seasoned gamer. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's times like this where I really wish. Whoa, okay, SPR. Oh, damn, Golden Cooler, Golden Fighting Spirit. Oh, okay, so it is the SPR to the SR box topper that we got as well. Okay, again, I'm not complaining. They are beautiful, but I was really hoping for a Gohan card. Not a cooler, <laughs> but I still have one more box to open. So after this, I'm going to be opening another box. So that will probably be the next video. So fingers crossed there's something in there, but I just noticed that this also has some really beautiful texture. There's kind of like this bubble texture or something in the back here. See that? That's actually really dope. Okay. Well, I like that they're actually changing up something with the design. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool, but this would look even sicker if there was a lot of gold foiling to it. But yeah, I'm I'm surprised that with this set, they're not doing any gold foiling for the SPRs. That's a bit unusual, but hey, new set, SPR, I'll take it. <laughs> so back to Sparking Zero. Yeah, it's times like this where I really wish that I grew up with video games. Because um, yeah, I've always wanted to be a really mad gamer, but... Um, unfortunately wasn't really allowed any consoles so all I had was a Game Boy Color and yeah I played that thing to death. Oh wow cool all right another SR Android 18 Deadly Combat Settled. See this is this is a bit bizarre to me why do the SRs have gold foiling and the SPRs don't? That's a bit strange but they're still beautiful cards like all of these cards are actually really beautiful but yeah, I need, I need more Gohan, man. I need, I need to pull some Gohan cards. So yeah, Sparking Zero has been pretty cool, but yeah, I just, I need to put in a lot more hours um, into that game for sure. And, uh, oh yeah, Dima came out too. I have not watched the first episode yet. <laughs> so no spoilers, but I actually think I might watch it on camera and do a reaction video to it so yeah keep an eye out for that because i think i will probably do that i think that would be fun okay we are cruising through this set people these cards are so beautiful too like all the just standard commons and uncommons they did a really great job with this set <laughs> practicing fusion i love that one cell great salmon freezer SS Gogeta and Fused Zamasu 
Total God's Rage. Oh, what a sick name. Okay, I have a feeling there might not be anything else in this box. Oh, okay. Well, like I said, I still have one other box to open. So hopefully there'll be something in that. Hopefully a Gohan SPR or I think one of the SCRs is that Father Son Kamehameha card. So would really, really love that. Okay, Golden Freezer, Zamsu, Son Goku, Android 17, Great Saiyan 2, Vegeta, Son Goku again. There's actually quite a bit of uh, Android 17 in this set as well. Awesome. SS Gogeta. Oh, okay, another SR. Cooler again. There's a lot of cooler love in this set too. Strongest Pride. Again, that's actually a really sick SR. Okay, there's only maybe three packs left or so. Hmm, okay, I was hoping this box was gonna be a bit juicier, but I mean, hey, they're still lost pack magic. You never know. Okay, Freezer. Oh, Freezer again. Goku Black. Fused Zamasu. Sun Goku, and that's it for that pack. I think because this set has been so delayed as well, I haven't watched any uh, unboxings of this set because I did want it to be fresh for when I opened it. But normally if people are pulling God Rays and stuff, like I'll see it on Instagram from someone who I'm following, but... Oh, SR, Super 17, ult uh, yeah, Ultimate Masterpiece. Pretty cool. But yeah, I haven't seen anyone pulled the god rare on my instagram feed so yeah as far as i know i don't think anyone's pulled the god rare from this set yet and it probably is because it was so delayed i think people are maybe getting it next week so yeah fingers crossed for you guys hoping for all the best when you get your set oh wow that is sick sell complete terror that is a really really nice SR. Last pack magic. Let's see. I have a feeling. Wait, that's it's gonna be an SR, isn't it? There's a bit of gold, but it doesn't look too crazy. So it's probably just another SR. <laughs> Alright, we'll see. Sun Goku. Super 17 Frieza. Gogeta, Cell, Bojack, Cell again, Vegeta, Piccolo, SS Blue, Goku, okay we're up to the last card. Oh it's just a rare, okay. Damn I got played again! I thought all of that was actually gold foiling, it looked so luminescent. Okay, first up we have the cooler SR box topper, which we did get a duplicate of as well. So SR Super 17. Cell. I do really like this one actually. Really, really like that. Cooler. Put a lot of coolers in this box actually. The SPR cooler. Pretty sick. The SPR Goku and Vegeta. I actually do really like that one. I like this one too actually. SS Blue Gogeta SR, a duplicate Golden Cooler, probably give that away to someone. Sun Goku, Vegito, and Fuse Zamasu, of course. And remember, I will be giving away this sealed box of Saiyan Showdown to one lucky person. So remember to leave a like on this video, a comment below, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's it for today's video guys, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.